So, welcome back to uh, Understanding Innovation with Capella and the course Introduction to Capella. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about, uh, in this topic section, uh, we're going to talk to you about, intro uh, we're going to introduce the concept of system models. Now, system models uh, is a approach that basically is being used with Capella as models, but uh, it basically creates a model of the system. Uh, an objective here, we're going to basically explain the concepts and the benefits of a model. We're going to tie, define the term system, because a lot of people don't understand what that means, and it's kind of a strange word. Uh, we're going to understand the basic differences of system modeling tool, like Capella, from a drawing tool, like you would have, let's say, in a Google Docs or Google uh, type of uh open source tool for drawing pictures and we're going to introduce an example of a product that will be modeled first of all what's a model a model is representation of either a process product or system that improves understanding and promotes discussion uh, everyday example of a model uh, are people that you will see on a runway they are like the ideal view of what a, a person might look like or a thought or an outfit may look like so it's, it's a model that we talk about and we we uh, observe other models are like your Lego models or maybe a model of a vehicle those are you know basically you know a representation of the problem now uh, these basically these models are used and here's a model on the right hand side of what they call a V it's a model of how you would develop a product uh, called a system engineering V as they would speak so it, you know that's how extreme it can be it can be something as you know uh, every day as a runway model walking down and showing off clothing but also can be text that kind of helps you understand and build a mental model how, of how something is done the benefits of a model it promotes understanding of the actual process or product uh, it promotes discussion you can discuss and work around this visual representation of what you're building it allows a wide audience to understand more concretely what you're describing and it builds a foundation on which further refinement can be performed a system though is another part of it you know, so what we're going to do a system model you know what a simple definition of a system is is arrangement of parts or elements that together exhibit a behavior or a meaning that the individual consistent uh, constituents do not you know in general the parts is more of a general term it goes way back to aristotle's phrase the whole is more than the sum of the parts so the a system is a connection of things working together that delivers uh the behavior or satisfies the need that you may want to uh, satisfy with your product. Capella is an open source model-based systems and software engineering tool. It's open source, therefore it's free to use and download. Uh, it supports an understanding of how the user will use a system or a product, and it supports a conceptual development of the system, products, and software uh, by understanding the problem and basically depicting the solution. Uh, it helps you shape an idea into the elements of the product that you're going to implement. It essentially is a tool for innovation. Now, how does it differ from just a drawing tool, such as one in Google Slides? Uh, it, it's a drawing tool just draws pictures, uh, and they're not really related. A modeling tool d d actually has pictures, but the pictures actually represent things that actually uh, can be manipulated. <clears throat> so, uh, a picture could be on more than you know one graphic representation of the model could be on more than one a picture could be on more than one uh, diagram let's say in this case a box that we're drawing it could be on more than one diagram but it always means the same thing if I change it in one place it changes in all the places that have that uh, objects can have properties, these objects that are represented on the diagrams. They can have additional information, such as descriptions or text or notes. So basically the, the model that you're creating is much richer than just a diagram. Uh, a diagram, you may have to understand what the block that's on the left-hand side means. Uh, this block, well, what does that mean? That block mean? Well, in a model, the object that's represented over here can actually have a rich description behind it, and just by clicking on it, you can get to that rich description. So, how does Capella work with other design tools? Uh, Capella fills a gap 
helping you develop your idea into a design. It goes from the traditional napkin that somebody may sketch an idea on, which I've done many times, uh, from a notebook that you may take that idea and then detail it out, or even from electronic forms such as uh, Google tools, such as the docs and sheets and slides. It can actually help you uh, take that information and then put it into more of a formal way of communicating it. And that's where that idea of a common communication. So using the Arcadia me method that's embedded inside the tool, you can come up with a representation that then can be communicated to downstream development activities, such as code development with a, you know, that you might develop in an yeah, integrated uh, development environment, to a circuit design tool such as Eagle or KI CAD or Fritzing, uh, or to 3D CAD and printing software such as uh, SketchUp or FreeCAD. It helps you bring that idea uh, down to those design tools so that you can decide, okay, what goes in circuits and what may go in 3D CAD. So the goal of this course is that we're actually going to take you from the concept of an idea all the way to its design. So that's where we're going to be at, and we're going to walk through this process. And, and thank you for uh, listening to the introduction. Now, the, the product we're going to use is something called uh, Trail Power, and we're going to basically bring power to the trail with this solution. Uh, we can use this solution in various places. Uh, it has some features of a typical solar charger. And this is the, uh, the product that we're going to be used as a demonstration uh, for the rest of the course. We're going to take you all the way from basically operational analysis and system analysis, uh, it, all the way to logical, uh, physical, and what they call end product breakdown structure of defining what the components of the system are. Uh, we're going to basically walk through defining the problem and understanding how the problem of the system is, uh, to, and then to delivering the solution for, to the problem. So in summary, the, the system models are abstract representations of your process product system. The, the benefits of the model is it promotes understanding of the actual process and product, it promotes discussion, it allows a wide audience to understand more concretely what is being described. It builds a foundation for fur further refinement to be performed. A system is an arrangement of parts or elements that together exhibit a behavior or meaning uh, the, the individual constituents do not, and Capella is a system modeling tool. So thank you for attending the session and uh, look forward to uh, you listening to further sections later. Thank you.